Do you like history? Well, you should. So if you're not reading history, start. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. And today's book is Tactical Leadership by Paul D. Lefavor. I have no idea how to pronounce Paul's last name, so Paul, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. So this book is exactly what it sounds like. It is about tactical leadership. And in this book, Paul breaks down 12 leadership traits that he thinks are you know, important and, and that you should try to garner if you're gonna be a tactical combat leader. And the way he does it is, is pretty interesting because you know, there's a lot of leadership books out there, right? There's a lot in business, there's a lot in combat, uh, tactical reading, whatever we wanna call that, right? There's, there's a lot of leadership books out there. But this one's unique in that he takes these 12 traits and then he goes through one or two historical examples of a person how, and how they embodied that trait. And so it's this really fun mishmash of like history and, and learning about these leadership traits and seeing them play out in history, right? Leadership, in case you don't know, is universal. Meaning that uh, what motivates people has been the same since we left the Garden of Eden. Okay, that's just, that's just true, that's how it is. People are people uh, across generations, across time, across regions, across cultures. People need to be led. That's why we have leaders and that's one of the ways that history moves forward. So uh, he does a really good job again of saying, okay, this is a leadership trait, like I think tenacity is one of his leadership traits. So let's see here what he's got. Tenacity is one of the leadership traits. So he takes an example of tenacity, right? And he'll explain a little bit about what it is, and then he'll say, okay, here's an historical example of tenacity, and we'll go through that. So for tenacity, he covered, for tenacity, he talked a lot about John Mosby from the Civil War and kind of did a little uh, historical lesson on John Mosby and you know what made him tenacious. So again, it's this really fun mishmash of history and uh, historical battles and historical people and, and learning about these leadership traits and how you can better garner them in your life. And you can see what, what you do have, what you don't have, where you're, what you're missing, you know, all that kind of thing. So, big fan of this book in that regard. It's written, again, entirely towards military people, uh, not for everyday people, but like I said earlier, leadership is universal. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you wanted to read this book to learn how to lead your team at work better in your little corporate office, you could learn some things from this. So would highly recommend this book if you're at all interested in leadership, particularly tactical leadership. Uh, this book is gonna, gonna help you out. And it's really one of the better leadership books that I've read uh, that I can think of. I've read a handful. The, the reason I like this one in particular is again, it's that fun combination of history and when you can see a trait and you can relate it to a historical example, a real life historical example of something someone did or didn't do well, you can look at that and say, ah, I see it now. Or I see where if they would have had that trait uh, that would have gone better for them, but because they didn't and they made that glaring mistake or had that huge character flaw, right, that caused them an issue. So uh, I would, again, recommend Tactical Leadership by Paul D. Lafavor. And uh, if you're watching this channel, chances are you consider yourself or want to consider yourself or want to be some kind of tactical leader, right? Because who else is reading the books? Uh, the people who read will lead. That's been universal throughout human history. So read the books, be a better leader. We're gonna need you. Do brave deeds and endure.